You're listening to Lee and So from the Science Scribe, and in this tutorial, we look at how to calculate the pH of any buffer solution. So, solution number one, which contains a weak acid and a conjugate base mixed together, and the question already tells you what the concentrations of the weak acid and the conjugate base are. So, my propanoic acid is 0.122 moles per litre, that's my weak acid, and my propanoate ions, my conjugate base, is 0.03 moles per litre. Notice in the top right hand corner, the question has also given you a value for Ka. The strategy to solving this type of question is to pick your weak acid, which is your propanoic acid, and write the acid dissociation equation for it with water. There we go. After that, we're going to go for the Ka expression, just like in year 12, reactants at the bottom, products along the top, and then we're going to rearrange that to make hydronium ions the subject. Now from here, notice that my top is weak acid and my bottom is conjugate base, because I'm going to use this to derive a formula, which I'll use in the next question. Following that, once we know the concentration of H3O+, we can go ahead and calculate pH. Now I know my concentration of propanoic acid and conjugate base because that's already been given, so we're going to substitute all these figures into our formula, do some arithmetic on the calculator, hit equals, and now I've got a concentration of hydronium ions. Then I'm going to fall back to my trusty handy dandy pH formula, substitute in the concentration of hydronium ions, push that in on the calculator, and we get a pH of 4.26. In example number two, we start with a solution of ethanolic acid, that's 20 mils of 0.113 moles per litre, and then we add in 5 mils of sodium hydroxide at 0.0987 moles per litre. When this happens, we get the following reaction between the ethanolic acid and the sodium hydroxide, and you can see on the right hand side that not only does it make water, but more importantly, it makes sodium methanoate. Those ethanoate ions are important because ethanoate ions are the conjugate base of ethanoic acid, which is your weak acid. So remember, a buffer solution will contain a weak acid and its conjugate base, and this is exactly what we're trying to do here. We're taking the sodium hydroxide, reacting it with the ethanoic acid to produce some of the conjugate base, so we get a mixture of the two. Now to find the pH of this type of solution, I'm going to use something called a ice table. It's called an ice table because you'll notice on the left hand side I've got initial, change and ending. I, initial, C, change, E, ending. That's ice. Now to calculate the initial moles I'm going to use this formula, N equals C times V. So I'm going to add C times V into each for ethanoic acid and the sodium hydroxide. Now my ethanoic acid is 20 mL so I've got to change that into litres. I've got 0.113 moles per litre so I'm going to substitute those in. I'm going to do the same thing for sodium hydroxide, remember the 5 mils has to change into litres, that's why it's 0 0.0050. Push the buttons on the calculator and we get the following answers. That pretty much tells me right now that if I was to quickly take a look at the two, I've got more ethanoic acid present than I do sodium hydroxide. Now when this reaction goes on, you can see that there's a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio, in other words, each sodium hydroxide is going to cancel out one ethanoic acid molecule. In the process, it will also produce one ethanoate ion in the form of sodium ethanoate. Now to work out my final moles, I just subtract them. In the case of sodium ethanoate though, I'm forming 4.94 times 10 to negative 4 moles, so I just add that into the bottom. To find out my concentration, I use the following formula where I take the amount in moles divided by the volume. So I just move the moles down one row. Now as for my volume, I don't know what my volume is, but what I do know is that I took 20 mils and 5 mils and added them together. So in total, I should have 25 mils. Remember that in all cases, our volume should be in litres. Once I push those numbers in on the calculator, I can see my ethanoic acid concentration is 0 0.0707 moles per litre and my ethanoate ion concentration is 0 0.0197 moles per litre. Now this is where the formula we found in the previous question comes in handy. We want the concentration of weak acid on top and the concentration of the base species at the bottom. So let's substitute our numbers in, push the numbers in on the calculator, and we get the concentration of hydronium ions as 6.26 times 10 to negative 5 moles per litre. Remember at any time, once you know the concentration of hydronium ions, you can go ahead and use the pH formula. There it is there, the pH of the buffer solution formed by mixing this solution of ethanoic acid with sodium hydroxide is 4.20. In this example, I'm going to show you that the formula we derived in the first example also works when I start with a weak base and add a strong acid. 
So let's say when I have hydrochloric acid and react it with ammonia solution, we get this following reaction going on. You can see my ammonia is my weak base and ammonium ions is going to be the conjugate acid of that. Again, I'm going to use an ice table, ice initial change ending. So I'm gonna work out my initial amounts just like before. I'm gonna go concentration times volume. So let's substitute those numbers in to those formulae. Remember we're working in liters here, so the mills have to change. Punch those numbers in on the calculator, gives you the following amounts of hydrochloric acid and ammonia in moles. Now this tells me that I've got much more ammonia than I do hydrochloric acid. So for each hydrochloric acid, it's gonna react with one ammonia and also form one ammonium. Ammonium is NH4+. So the hydrochloric acid gets used up, reacts with some of the ammonia and forms ammonium ions. To work out the change, I just punch those in on the calculator by the column. I'm not left with a lot of ammonia and I'm forming quite a fair amount of ammonium ions. Now to work out the concentration, we always take the amount in moles divided by the volume. Now my volume, I've got to work out again, but my moles I can just copy down. My volume is a mixture of 20 mils and 15 mils, so that's 35 mils in total converted into liters. Punch this in on the calculator. Now I've identified that my ammonia is a base and the ammonium ions are acidic. Now my formula itself wants a weak acid on top and a conjugate base on the bottom, but this formula works as long as you put the alkaline or the base species at the bottom and the acidic species at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Substitute the numbers in, punch the numbers in on the calculator, push some buttons, and now you know the concentration of hydronium ions. And just like last time, remember, whenever you know the concentration of hydronium ions, you can find the pH by using the pH formula and you are away and done. The pH when you take 15 mils of 0.210 mol per liter hydrochloric acid and react it with 20 mils of 0.190 mol per liter ammonia solution is 8.56.